Hey, welcome back. So I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I saw this video on a knockoff Apple Watch Ultra. And this guy was talking about how amazing it is. So I did some research on it and turns out that was about like the only video made by anyone in the US about the thing. So yeah, the $800 Apple Watch Ultra and apparently there's a bunch of different Chinese companies that make different ones and half of them are horrible, but there's a couple good ones. And when you try to research it, there's no helpful videos on the internet. So I'm making this video because I couldn't find anybody that was helpful on the internet and I found what I think is the best Apple Watch Ultra knockoff. This is called the HK8 Ultra Pro Max. It's straight from China. You can tell by the name, but apparently this thing is really dang good. Now, I don't have an actual Apple Watch Ultra, but I've seen a bunch of them and I know the differences and I'm gonna be able to tell you if this is a good clone or not. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. So let's pop this thing open and uh, see if it's crap or if it's close to the real thing, which would be crazy. So um, I bought this off eBay. You can buy it off AliExpress. Um, it's gonna run you anywhere from $20 to like $70. I paid 50 for this. Now 50 for a knockoff product is normally a lot of money, but hey, if this thing is like really close to an Apple Watch Ultra, that's pretty cool. All right, so here it is, um, the HK8 Pro Max, no joke, that's the actual name. Um, you can see it says, uses OpenAI's um, new chat GPT. I don't know how this thing uses chat GPT, maybe for like the voice assistant, which this thing does have apparently. So this is the box right here, it says HK8 Pro Max. And uh, let's just go open it, because I'm just really interested. There's a really good shot, I just wait wasted 50 bucks, but we'll find out in a second. Oh, and you can see right here, this is the HK8 Pro Max in the titanium case, 49 millimeter, just like the Apple Watch is supposed to be. It opens kind of like an Apple packaging, even though it's not. And uh, all right, we have the HK8 Pro Max. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep you in suspense. We'll look at this. Yeah, just a random pamphlet. Um, this is what we want to see. All right, so this is what you get in the packaging. You get um, one of these loops. I forget what this is called, like the Alpine Loop Band, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. We get a charger, um, which looks really just like the normal Apple Watch charger. And then we have the Apple Watch Ultra right here. And, uh, oh, okay, all right. Didn't know how this was gonna feel. It's very heavy. Um, it feels heavy like the real one, which is pretty dang cool. It's got plastic on it, so let's open this up. And this is it right here in my hands. Okay, okay, it feels pretty dang good like a real one. Everything is metal, which I know there are some knockoffs that are plastic. Um, this one is, is metal, and it looks pretty dang, wow, it looks good. All right, let's turn this thing on and see how weird it is. All right, so it's not turning on, so my guess is it's dead, so let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, plugging it in. See if it does anything. If not, I'll just, oh, there we go. It says hello, and uh, you can't tell my camera's kind of blowing it out, but that's the what the Apple Watch normally looks like when you're charging it. Um, okay, so we, wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so um, just by me scrolling through, this thing <laughs> looks really smooth. I have an Apple Watch S, uh, SE right here, and it is the real one. Um, so we're going to compare that, even though it's, you know, not the exact same thing by any means. Um, but this thing feels very smooth, actually. Um, that looks really bad. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so I got to set it up. But I'm going to set it up, and uh, we'll take a look at it in a second and see uh, if it actually even works well or not. All right, so now that I've used this thing for a little while, it's time to talk about it. So after the last clip, um, I got this thing all set up and it was actually pretty impressive. It worked pretty well. The raise to wake worked really well, pretty close to an Apple Watch, but not quite like one, but it was pretty close and really impressive. I slept with it on and then I got up the next morning and um, it's me. So what do I do is I go surfing and I knew that the real Apple Watch Ultra was waterproof. For some reason, I thought that correlates the knockoff $50 Apple Watch. So I went surfing with it and uh, it's not waterproof. So after having used it for about 15 hours, um, it was completely broken, there was no fixing it, which really sucks because my goal for this video was to tell you if this is a actual like functional clone of an Apple Watch or not. From the short time that I did use it, it did work really well. You could download their app, which is a sketchy Chinese app, but it did allow you to download different watch faces and stuff. And I was impressed with a lot of things that it did. It was a pretty close Apple Watch Ultra clone that I would say would fool most people. Um, like if you compare the real Apple Watch to a fake Apple Watch, you can see like the band color is different and stuff. In general, it's super close. For 50 bucks, if you just want the style of an Apple Watch without spending $800, I would say this is a pretty good deal. Just um, no, it's not waterproof so or water resistant at all because 
it really did not last long in the surf and uh, I could literally just shake it and then water would come out of all the speakers. So don't take it surfing for sure. Um, don't shower with it and definitely be careful even if it's a rainy day, I would say. When it did work, it worked really well and the battery life on it, I've heard is really great from the videos that I've seen and also it seemed to be doing really well for me. So it has really good battery life, maybe even better than the normal Apple Watch Ultra. But yeah, 50 bucks if you're just looking for something to have fun or just hold you off from getting a real Apple Watch, this thing's pretty good. Sorry, I couldn't do much of it video about it but i stress tested it and it didn't hold up so now you know anyway i hope you guys found this video kind of helpful <laughs> um probably not too helpful but hopefully a little bit and stay tuned because i have a bunch of videos coming out pretty soon um some of them involving this so hopefully i'll catch you all in those and i'll see you all next time peace out